So while researching for my Life of Luxury Smasher Pass video, if that's new information to you, I'll link it in the description. It, uh, it's something. But while researching to put that monstrosity together, I realized that there's a bunch of old Life of Luxury videos I have never watched. And because it takes months for them to produce a new one, I think I'm gonna start a new series where I start watching every single old Life of Luxury video. I was gonna do it all in one video, but I didn't realize there's like, I think 13 or something that I haven't watched. So I'm gonna just put a bunch together in this video. And then when this video hits 100,000 likes like usual, then I can make the next part where we watch a bunch more together. Sound fun? Leave a like. I want to do this. I need to watch them all. All right, so the first one I've never watched before, he's been living under her bedroom floor. Hello, Lux Army. Hello. Let's smash 100,000 likes to show how See? strong we are. See? Listen to Parker. For this episode, we received an email from, from an 18-year-old girl? girl named <laughs> Still the Jennifer. same? Okay, Jennifer's Jennifer. Parents recently same setup. To go to their winter home and left Jennifer all alone in her house. Winter home? What kind of rich person stuff is this? And also, what kind of terrible parents are they? I mean, I guess she's 18. She should be able to fend for herself. She's been living alone for a few weeks and has started to hear animal-like noises coming from under the floorboards in her room. That well, can't be good. Jennifer told us that she looked in her basement and couldn't find any trace of an animal or human living there. Or I hope so not. So we're going to drive out to Jennifer's house <laughs> and try to see what's causing these strange noises. Okay. Okay, so I guess they're animal control now. How do we know it wasn't just a sick animal down there? I mean, I'd still be freaking out if there was a sick animal under my bedroom. We cannot take the chance of not helping her. Why? <laughs> Who would know? All right, yo, let's knock on this door, bro. All right, yo, let's talk. knock on this door, bro. Dude, there's a sir. Why is that a weird thing to do? It's a girl living alone. Somebody knocks on her door at 1030 at night and she wants to look out the window first. She's creepy. Can we come in so we can talk? Yeah, I can. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's I love how enthused they are. I'd be so excited. Like Parker okay, and Chester, yeah. yes. Thank you for inviting us in and letting us uh, sit down. Yes. So can you tell us what you yes. think is going on in your house? About a week ago, I started hearing noises in here and I feel like someone's living in here with me. I mean, we can stay here a couple nights with you and set up some cameras, but if you already checked in this- <laughs> Why is there a pedestal with a coffee pot on it in the background? Can somebody please tell me if this is something normal that people do? Do you put your coffee maker on its own separate pedestal? Like, oh, the coffee. Sorry, I just got very I mean, distracted. I'm gonna here a couple of nights with you and set up some cameras, but if you already checked and didn't see anything, I'm not really sure there's that much we're gonna be able to find out. I don't really have that many options right now. You are right, my well, last we're option. Do the best we can. He's like, I don't think we can do anything, but let's just see. I need some YouTube content. Dude, this place is huge. Wow, big basement. Yeah, so it's not just under her room, it's under the entire house. Here, check, out, check this out. There's like a tunnel to another part of the house. Bro, what is that? Look. What's in this room, bro? The girl did not look well down yeah, there. there. He's like, I don't want to go in there. It's Sent Chester. Dude, I don't like this. Bro, this place is creepy. There's a camera right here. Okay. Let's go. Let's, yeah, get, out let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Let's go upstairs. <laughs> we don't even, we can't check it out. We will safely watch from our cameras. Yo, what was that? Whispering. What? Okay. They're the worst investigators still. We checked out the basement. Did you know about that crawl space that was down there? Why is he filming her yeah, from the, the worst angle? The Look at this. I want to see under your chin. It's <laughs> what I like. I've never seen that before. Okay, uh, well, just forget about it now because we put a camera in Don't worry room. about it. Somebody might be living in a crawl space in your basement, but it's fine. You don't think I'm in any danger, right? No, I don't think so. How about now you just go to your room? <laughs> This is the face of somebody that you want to tell you that you're not in any danger. No, I don't think so. No, 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 no. Dialogue and pacing in these old ones, 10 out of 10. Just go to sleep. Okay, what is this room set up, girl? Uh, is it a human or animal or demon? It's a demon. It's a demon. Oh, there he is. It's a spider person. I've heard of these. I've heard of these spider people. How? What happened? Are they dead? 
Okay guys, so it's about 6 a.m. Uh, we just woke up. We got to review the footage from the cameras from last night. Uh, so Chester, do you want to wake up Jennifer? Yeah, I'll go with her. Jennifer. It's still nighttime. Jennifer, we gotta, go, we gotta get up. We gotta look at the footage. Like, what are you doing in my room? Okay, so there really doesn't seem to be that much going on here. Let's check on that space. The second they see this thing, Wait, she should be getting that? out of here. Someone's poking his head out of there. Is it a person? That's what's in my house? <laughs> so thing, end up leaving this place. Yo, we need to go check on that crawl space, dude. Now they want to go dude, investigate now that they know this creepy man is down there? Bro, why don't you go inside there and check it out? I'm not going in there after what we just saw. <laughs> Chester, but, you go uh, in there. Hold up, I got an idea. What? He's oh, like, okay. I'm not Let's going in there. So instead of investigating, we're just going to barricade it. It's like, our job is done. Problem solved. The spider man guy that will just die in there. Whatever that was, I don't think we're going to have a problem with it anymore, okay? There's I no have put a problem. wooden crate in front of oh, it. Even know. though I'm pretty sure if I was in there and just kicked it really hard, I think it could come out. I think I could do it. What if the board comes off? I mean... We'll see, okay? <laughs> gonna be fine. Like, I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you. That's a big, that's a huge possibility that it's just gonna come off, but it's fine. Okay. We're just gonna go to sleep. Don't even worry about it, okay? Don't worry about it. Oh my God, no way it's back. Well, don't worry because I think that wooden crate is gonna hold pretty good. I mean, Parker did screw it in with two screws. Oh my God, it's holding him. It's actually working. Oh no. Oh, he's gonna go through the floor. Oh, he's gonna go through the floor. Okay, I take back what I said, it worked. The wooden plank worked. And there he is. He's like, but there's no way I put a wooden thing in front of the hole. How could this happen? Oh my God, oh my God. Why was she sleeping in jeans and a tank top? <laughs> and heels, I'm pretty sure. It came through the floor, but my plan was foolproof. We drove Jennifer back to our house and texted her parents to inform them about this. They blocked us and their own daughter's number. They were like, oh yeah, that was our son. We just hate having children. So we shut him in the basement and then we just left her for dead and hoped maybe he would take care of her so that our responsibilities would be gone and we could stay in our winter home alone without our kids. Brilliant masterpiece. What's next? There's something wrong with her roommate. <laughs> and she's sleeping and he's watching. <laughs> For this episode, we received a report from a 19 year old girl. Ah, 19 named this time. Mariah. Now, Mariah's Mariah. upset because one night, her parents and all of their belongings just disappeared. What are with these abandoning parents? And after this, a man appeared saying that he's her new roommate. Now, once she tries asking her new what? roommate about her parents' disappearance, he just ignores her. And Mariah says that recently, her new roommate has been trying to get into her room at night. Okay. So we're going to head out to okay. and try to figure out what's going on with this strange man. There's so many concerns, so many red flags. Dude, how could her parents just disappear like that? Yeah, I don't even know who this guy in her house is. Chester asks one question and Parker answers a different question. <laughs> I wasn't even asked. Do you think he could be responsible for any of this? Did he kill the parents? Is that what's happening? It does happen. Sir. How dare she look out the window right. again? Hi, yeah. Hi, nice to meet you, Parker. Life of luxury. Okay, can we come in and talk for a little Life bit? Life of luxury, hello. Sure. We're here to save you from this strange man. Did um, you put all these sheets up? No, my roommate did. Yep. Okay, let's just sit down at the table. I'm pretty sure he's setting up a murder room. So can you tell me what it is about your roommate that's bothering you? Last night, I locked my door, and I'm glad I did, because I heard him breathing outside my door, and he was turning the doorknob trying to get in. Oh, things are getting and real. He keeps making food for me, and if I don't eat it, he gets really angry. Where is he? why maybe because it's an older video but i thought just a random creepy guy was gonna walk out i mean that is kind of what walked out but this is like full creepy not even like partially creepy it's full it's like i'm gonna start walking around my house like this <laughs> people will leave me alone 
This is the first time that I'm actually with Parker and Chester that they should stay in this house with this poor girl. Although, actually, my main solution would be to get this girl out of the house, not stay there, but yeah, do not leave her. Yo, watch those worms, dude. Oh, I stepped in one. Yo, watch the worms, man. In the morning. Okay, all right. Okay, cool. Let's go. She's like, not only do I have this strange creepy roommate man. Now I have these two strange internet guys staying at my house, so I'm doing really good. Very safe choices. Well, that guy seemed really weird. Are you sure you don't want to go talk to him? Do you want to go talk to him? No, not really. <laughs> I feel like Parker's gained a lot more confidence over the years. In these earlier episodes, he's right, like, I'm not doing it. Cameras in this place. We're gonna put the camera in his room really quickly. Oh, what's the roommate's room look like? Where's the black goo? Yo, what's that? What the hell? <laughs> he's got mannequin Yo, arms? He's got like, I don't teeth? know what these are. Don't. Oh. like teeth, bro. Whatever, just ignore it, let's go. Okay. Bloody teeth? Hi, Mariah, can we just put a camera in your room real quick? Okay. Okay, thanks. Girl, you are making terrible, terrible decisions. Good. Stop saying yes to everything. Okay, furniture placement is better. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I like the roommate so much. <laughs> he has a baby doll on his bed. <laughs> I mean, good for you, man. Are you gonna go eat the Cheetos you dropped in the hallway? <laughs> and he ate the camera. That's what he meant by eating. <laughs> He's eating all the cameras. He's like, I actually exclusively eat cameras. This is a buffet for me. <laughs> she did. Guys, help. Yo. Let's go. That better not be Let's go. yelling for help, Mariah. It, I tricked you! <laughs> oh no! This video has so many layers to it. Yo, yo, we're trapped in here. Bro, we cannot be trapped in here. Parker, go out the window. It's fine. Or break through the wall. What's this kind of setup? Are we being targeted? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how we're gonna get out of here. Can we get out through the window? Yeah. Bro, we can't jump that far. We can't jump that far. So you're yeah, just gonna yeah, stay? Go. Maybe we could get out through this vent. How are you gonna fit through this? This is a new dynamic to their videos I mean, that I haven't seen before. I'm enjoying it. We can't get through that vent. So what can we do? We're just trapped, bro. <laughs> It's not Cheetos. I like, <laughs> I like how he's telling Chester not to eat. He's like, don't, don't you dare eat that. Like as if Chester's like ready to go eat it. I love this so much. It is escalating so quick. What do we do? Window, vent, we're gonna die in here. <laughs> oh, no, I can't. Bro, if we don't get out of here, we're dead. I'm gonna ram it. <laughs> I'm gonna ram it. Wow, good ramming, Parker. That's very forceful ramming. Oh, he did it! Let's go. Let's go. Oh no! What happened to Mariah? I don't know. Just find a phone and tell the police. What happened to Mariah, dude? I don't know. What happened to her? I don't know. Drive, drive faster. I'm driving. I'm driving. I thought the car fly. <laughs> what? The we made it home and called the police. We still aren't sure what happened to Mariah. Oh my god! I loved them being trapped in a bedroom where they, they had multiple ways they probably could have gotten out, but instead they just accepted their fate and they were like, we're gonna die in here. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. Don't eat the food, Chester! I know you want to! Alright, what's next? He crawled out of her closet, crawling, in case you didn't know, and he's sleep she's sleeping. Uh, the thing that's crawling looks like the human centipede, so I'm very scared. So for this episode, Episode. We received a report from a 19 year old girl named Kayla. What is this picture she sent them? Is this a look? Was this the look back in 2019? I don't remember. 
Kayla lives with her dad, and she says that he works in the basement of their house. She also okay. says weird things have been happening in her house at night, like screaming and scratching noises coming from the basement. These damn basements, I swear. Don't buy a house with a basement. Kayla's dad is on a trip, and she's home alone. So today, we're going to drive out to her house and try to find out what's going on. I swear to God, it's going to be the human centipede. Bro, is this the right place? Yeah. <laughs> is that her? Hi. Hi. Kayla, nice to meet you. Okay, Kayla, thank you for letting us sit down with you. Sure. Okay, so can you explain sure. to us more what's been going on? I think there's something moving down there. I hear things moving down there. And last night, I thought there was something in my room. I mean, not to be rude, but it seems like you sound a little bit paranoid. Why do you think that... Not to be rude, but you sound crazy, okay? <laughs> you sound crazy right now, girl. Reel it back a little bit. Last night, I got these marks, and I found oh. them on my body. Are those bite marks? Those are bite marks? I saw something in my closet a couple nights ago, and I suddenly started feeling dizzy, and I swear I saw something crawling out of there. What the hell? What the hell? Okay, well, uh, what's your dad's job? Why is he working in the basement? He said he was a surgeon, but I've never seen him work in the hospital, only in the basement. What? That Suspicious. <laughs> All right, well, I don't know what that him means. Him We're gonna be he does at home surgery. So we can watch what's going on. Just go to sleep like you normally do. We'll be waiting in the car watching these cameras. So oh, all right. Watch. We've gone so far back that they don't even sleep there. Yeah, so like in the super early days, they used to just stay in the car. Put this camera here to watch the basement door. It's Open. locked. Bro, it's locked from the inside. It can't be, dude. Bro, <laughs> there's a passcode. What the? All right, whatever. I guess we can't put a camera in the basement. All right, we got one there. It's fine. Hi, right, Kayla. Can we put a camera in your room? Okay. okay, at least she had some hesitation. I feel like most of the time okay, they're just like, yeah, sure. Just go to sleep. Put it in. Normal. Hopefully, you know, we'll talk in the morning. Bro, something's feeling really off about this place. Feels fine. Let's just go in the car. Let's go. Feels fine. Okay. What are you talking about? We begin watching for the night. Oh, no. Oh, no. Maybe this is why they had to start sleeping in the house. Because they just keep falling asleep in the car and then they can't hear anything. It's the same guy from the other basement one. Well, that did good. It's the human centipede! Ew. 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 Um, um, uh. Why is she not waking up? Is she gonna become part of it? <laughs> Yo, wake up. Uh, one of the cameras is on the ground. Check the other ones. What is she <laughs> doing? What's coming out of her mouth? We gotta go in, bro. Let's go. He's stealing her essence. Sucking her soul. Oh, she's dead. Oh, she dead. Oh, she dead. What are with these people sleeping in jeans? You don't sleep in jeans. What the hell was that thing? I don't know. Let's go. Drive. Drive. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta get out of here. Is she dying? We drove Kayla back to our house to spend the night and reported her father to the police for investigation. Well, thank God. So yeah, it, uh, it was basically the human centipede and the dad was surgically putting people together like a centipede. <laughs> All right, next we have, there's something wrong with her dad. <laughs> there's the dad. So for this episode, we received 18? a report from 18? an 18 year old girl named Emily. Emily lives with her dad and she thinks that there's something off about him. Now, Emily is visually impaired, so she can't even get a good look at him. She says that oh. her dad won't let her in his room anymore, and he keeps giving her milk. She also says that he started smelling horrible, almost like a sewer. Now, Emily's trying oh, to contact no. her mom, but her dad said that she's taking a trip, even though her mom left her phone at home. Your mom's taking a trip. Baby. Okay, so the dad definitely did something to the mom. Also, what is it about somebody like drinking or giving you just milk as an adult that just makes it a little creepy? I don't know why. If somebody's like, hey, what do you want? Water, soda? And they're like, I would like a glass of milk. Even creepier if they're like, I want a room temperature glass of milk, please. I think it's our responsibility to make sure that she's okay. Why? I just she's safe it's by not. Get there. Once again, it's not her responsibility. Don't worry about it. Call the police. Hey, Emily. Hi there. Hi. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Try nice to give a handshake. You. She's visually impaired, Parker. Can you explain to us further what's been going on? I heard him talking to someone last night. Him? You mean your dad? I don't know. He just doesn't seem like my dad anymore. 
He called me the wrong name yesterday and there's something wrong with his skin when I felt it. Is there anything that you think could have caused this change? He went out to the woods hunting a few weeks ago and when he came back, he was dead. It's always the woods. The woods change you. When he came home, he was... Okay, this guy looks more like a normal man. I wanted him to walk in like this. What's all over his uh, shirt there? Ew, 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 no. ew, ew, That's no! <laughs> Parker's like, don't drink that. What are you doing? Don't, what, why would you drink that? This is great. Well, I've been drinking it for a while. You've been drinking this for a while. Yeah. Oh, she can't see because she's visually impaired. Yeah, she can't see that it's gray. Milk does the body good. <laughs> yeah, I told you, just anything milk, giving somebody milk is creepy if they're not a child. Hi, Emily, do you mind if I put a camera in your room for tonight? Sure. Okay, thanks. No hesitation. Sure. Okay, so Love being watched. Uh, we get... Okay, so let's just not think about this too much tonight. Uh, let's just not think about the we'll groaning. Let anything happen to you. Okay, all right. Uh, okay, so, all right. Yeah. Just don't worry. We wait until Emily's dad goes outside. She's like really worried. Don't worry, though. No. Just don't worry. Stop worrying. Oh, it's the black goo. Put it up there. Ew. All right, so it's about two in the morning right now. Will they fall asleep again? Hallway. Just gotta wait out to uh, see what happens. They're both gonna fall asleep again, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, totally normal behavior. Definitely not something a serial killer would do. Yep. There. Yep. <laughs> Come on, guys! You had one job! Uh! And he's gone. Where could he have gone? I wonder. Oh, God. Oh, he's staring directly in the camera. He's like, look what I'm doing. Yo, dude. Look at this. Wake up. Look at this. Call the police. Look. look. Call What's the he police. Doing in there? Is that someone's arm? What the heck? What? In there, dude. Who is that? Yo, we gotta go. Let's go. Who is that? What? Hey, what are you doing? Wait, what's going on here? What are you doing? What's going on, man? Go back to sleep, baby doll. Sleep does the body <laughs> Stop Why saying are you doing that. Why your daughter? Don't you love her? There was an arm. Who was that? What's wrong with you? Why don't you talk? Say something. Yo, you know, I'm sick of this, dude. I'll give you the police involved. <sighs> what are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get him! Get him with the stick! Are these his clothes? Ew, 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 ew! Get in front, get in front! Let's go! Let's go! Alright, just stay calm, just stay calm. She's like, I don't know what just happened because I can't see anything! What is that over there? What the hell is he He's naked! <laughs> Imagine you can't see any of this. All you're hearing is, oh God, I'm gonna call the police. He's naked. Oh my God. We drove Emily back to our house to spend the night. We still have no idea what happened to her father. He's gone. Where's the mom? And who is this man? Why does he kind of look like Chester? <laughs> I have so many questions, but yeah, there's a lot, lot more of these. So like I said, make sure you leave a like and I will continue the series of watching every old Life of Luxury video I have not seen yet.